Okay, so these are just my Roma tomatoes that I sliced up. This is about two and a half tomatoes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some fresh basil and we are gonna chop this basil up right into our pie crust. So what I have here is a Marie Callender's pie crust. It's not baked yet, but don't worry, we are making something super delicious and easy. So you need your tomatoes, your pie crust, and some delicious basil. Oh, the basil smells so good. I don't know about you guys, but basil and tomato are one of my favorite combos. So we don't need too much. That looks like just about enough. Just kind of make sure it's spread out throughout your pie. Now this is a Southern classic. So if you are from the South, you probably have made this many times. Now I have some diced onions that I just bought pre-diced. I'm using the red because it just goes so nicely with these other flavors. Obviously you can dice your own, but you know what? It's just as fresh. Someone diced it today. They just did it at the store and I took advantage of that. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning to this. So I have my electronic pepper grinder. And we want a lot of seasoning for this dish. Ooh, yeah, make sure it's very peppery and delicious. And I'm gonna add some salt with that as well. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple today. And if you're worried about the sodium, like I said, you can skip it. Now we need to create something super yummy and delicious to go on top of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. I'm gonna grab a bowl and a mini spatula. We're gonna start with some medium cheddar cheese. We're gonna use half of this bag. It's a standard size bag. Okay, that was about half. We're gonna use half of this mozzarella bag. So one full bag total. Perfect. Now, for the best mayo around, we have some Duke's Real Mayo, and we are gonna put a generous amount right in there. About a cup of mayo is what we need. That looks perfect. Now we're just gonna go ahead and mix that together. I know that seems a little strange, but trust me, all of these flavors are just gonna go so perfect together. It's just gonna be a delicious, little dinner pie that everyone will love. And the best part, it's vegetarian. So my vegetarian sister is gonna eat this up. So quick, so easy. You just need some tomatoes, some onions, some basil, and some delicious cheese. Oh yeah, look how good this looks. Ooh, okay. So once it's completely blended, this is gonna go right on top of that delicious tomato pie. Go ahead and scoop that right on top. I don't think we need that much. I think I made too much. So subtract a little bit from what I made. Oh wait, you know what? I am gonna need that. I'm crazy. I've made this so many times. I don't know what I'm saying. Just flatten it out so it acts as like a nice little cheese crust for our tomato pie. Ooh, this looks so good. Spread it from edge to edge, cover up all of those tomatoes, those onions, basil, beautiful. Now we have one more thing to go right on top to make a nice crisp top. And that last ingredient is gonna be some Parmesan. And we're just gonna do a nice little sprinkle of Parmesan, not too much just enough to crisp up and be beautiful. Okay, this is looking ready for the oven. Now my oven is set to 325 and this is gonna cook for 45 to 50 minutes. All right, I let our tomato pie cool down. It is time to cut a slice. Oh yeah, look how buttery that crust looks make sure you get all the way down that mayo cheese combination crust oh 
and those tomatoes are juicy. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Oh, okay. I need to try this right now. Yeah, it kind of fell apart a little bit, but it doesn't matter at this point because it's going in my mouth. Oh my gosh, those tomatoes, the cheese, the everything. Mm. Mm. That basil really completes dish. Mm, so good.